hey, what happens when you have this model you download from X Lights or from a vendor and you realize that the submodels in it are very different or perhaps some are missing from the sequencer? Now, we've done videos in the past where we show you how to import the correct model and take the submodels from it and you know we, we've done that. But uh, I've been watching watching the folks over there in Dev Central for X Lights, and they've come up with a sort of new way of doing this. And I'm going to show you what this is all about. Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you Monday Minutes on a Sunday. That's right, tomorrow is Labor Day, and happy Labor Day to all of you. I hope you take some time off. Uh, I would love to take time off, but you know, I just, I can't. I'm a one-man band, man. So I gotta stay busy. Let's talk about this. Uh, I love keeping up with what's happening in the development world of X-Lights, and we've got some new stuff coming, and I'm gonna share with you some of the notes in a second, but I wanna take you down a path. I wanna take you down a very familiar path for many of you that have these models from various vendors, and you get frustrated because maybe it's not the correct model, uh, maybe it's missing submodels. Some wild, crazy sequencer decided to create all these new submodels, and maybe they didn't send them to the vendor. Maybe they did. Maybe you just can't find it, and you'd like to at least w find a place to get it. Where's the source? Can I just get my submodels in? So I'm going to show you something brand new that's going to come out in 2024.16 that uh, might just help you out. And before we get going, smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I thank you so, so, so very much. There's a high percentage of you that uh, watch these tutorials, but not necessarily subscribe to the channel. So do a fella a favor. Hit that button and subscribe. I thank you so very much. Let's get going. I'm going to uh, perform a common task. I'm going to click on this little arrow here and drag a box. And I'm going to find a model. I'm going to look for the Fusion model from Gilbert Engineering. I see this. It's 996 nodes. Uh, I've created submodels for this in the past. I think some others have worked on this. And this last year, I created several new submodels and put them in groups to sort of kick this, this model up a notch on the sequencing side. So I'm going to insert this. Uh, do I want to import aliases? Uh, sure. You know, what, what if the name is going to be important? Right away, something that bothers me about this is the uh, dot size is way too big on this. So I'm going to put this back on too. Let's take a look at the submodels. If we look at the submodels, I see the outline, I see rings, I see feather odd. I don't, I don't think I created these. I'm pretty, I, I can't. I can't remember. Windmill, maybe I did. I don't know. M1, oh, I think I did. Starting to all come back to me. Anyway, these are not all the submodels that be on there. And by the way, the submodel one, what, why is this half baked? Just delete it. I don't, I don't even know what it is or why it's there. But I have created some other submodels that are not in here. I know where they're at. I can tell you uh, they're not in X-Lights where this came from. And they're also not on the Gilbert Engineering uh, website under models. So I need them to add the new one to those two locations. And they'll eventually get around to that. But if you know your sequencer where you might have purchased a sequence from has it, then that's all you really need. Now in the past, I would have told you, okay, find the right model and import it. And then after it's imported, you could import the submodels from the correct model into the incorrect model. Or you could just bring in the correctly imported model, the correct imported model, and replace this with it. That requires a few steps. Um, but I think today there's a better way. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Uh, and part of this... Uh, methodology is taken from the concept of importing previews models in groups and choosing a world 
a show directory and being able to import their, those previews, models, and groups. That's great. But today, we can now import sub models from a layout from the RGB effects. And this is really cool. And I think this is going to help a lot of people out, but it's missing. It's missing one vital thing that I'm hoping the devs can figure out because this will take something that's good to something that's great. And isn't great better than good? Isn't good the enemy of great? Of course it is. All right, let's take a look at this. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select the model and then we're gonna choose the submodels on the left, click on the ellipse, and we're going to click on import. Now this is what you're gonna see that's brand new. This little button right here, import submodels from layout. That's what we're looking for, from layout. And then we're gonna point this to that sequencer's layout. Now keep in mind, you're gonna to have to unzip a file where that model is at. This isn't gonna look inside a zip file and find this. So you just scroll down to the RGB effects. Okay, you're gonna click open. And then what we need to tell it is, what are we looking for? What model are we trying to steal sub models from? Okay, well, this is very important because uh, it's the GE Fusion 1. Now, let's take a look at this, let's slow a roll because this could be a, a, a problem and maybe the devs can figure this out. If my model is called GE Fusion or just Fusion, will the submodels come over? Yes, but that's not the problem. We're gonna see a problem, a potential challenge in just a moment. So I'm gonna click on GE Fusion 1, click OK. And then it opens up another dialog box. I really do like this. And now we can scroll down here and we can see all of these submodels. Now, if you have not messed with any of the submodels, then you can just replace what you have with all of these, or you can just choose the ones you want. The ones that are missing are gonna be Pretty Flake, Wishful, Lantern, Spaz, uh, Freaky, you know, these are not in there. So I'm just gonna click OK. And it says, do you wanna override submodels? In this case, because I haven't made any changes to this, I'm gonna click yes. And all we've done now is we've added all the new submodels. And we can see them here. We get right past this section. You're gonna be here at the bottom. Here we are, wishful. So this is the main model. And then I created the splits from the main model. There's wishful one, two, three, four, five, and six. The same thing with lantern you get it, okay? And then you click OK and save. So there we are, but we have another challenge. What about the groups? What about the groups? Groups are very, very important, super important. I believe the majority of you in an XLite support group poll said that submodel groups are very important when submodeling, when mapping. And 2% said, no, you should only be sequencing at the uh, model level. And the 2% represent three of the developers, which is interesting. And then 30%, I think that number is now 65, 33. I think it might've changed. 33% of the people that voted said, it should work both ways. I agree with that. I think it should work both ways. All right. So we understand that that is somewhat important. So how do we get the groups from this newer submodel that we've uh, copied the submodels from, from a, 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 a model that has what the sequencer has, which is what I want? Well, we can double click on the background, make sure nothing is selected, right click, import previews, models, and groups. And then we do the same thing. We come down here to that show directory of the sequencer who already has the submodel groups defined with the new submodels we brought in. We click open. And we get this dialog box. This is import previews and models. Well, we want to 
import model groups. Okay, so we'll scroll down here to Fusion and we need to find the model groups that we don't currently have. Now I suppose you could select all of the Fusion, but I'm only going to pick the ones I'm missing, which are going to be Fusion Freaky Group and then Group Model, which is the uh, main model that has the layers of the submodels in it. I'm going to click on the lanterns. I'm going to click on Pretty Flake. I'm going to click on Spaz. And, oh, Wishful. And I think that is it. Yeah. So we have our Wishful. We have our Spaz. We have Pretty Flake, Lantern, and Fusion Freaky. That's it. Now, watch what happens here. I click OK. And what do we get? I saw something come over. At least it looked like something came over. Uh, no, maybe I accidentally clicked on one of the other ones, but wh <laughs> where are my groups? <laughs> where are my groups? Well, you better do this before you try this step because uh, this dog is not gonna hunt. And this is, this is sad. It just makes me sad. Uh, you'll notice that the name here is GE Fusion. If where you're getting the submodel groups or submodels or models from using the import process, you need to make sure that that model either A, is named the same, which would be GE Fusion space one, with a little space and a one, and if you have two, the next one would be two. Or create an alias. Now, this will be interesting. I haven't tried this using an alias. Let's see if an alias works with this. Because now we're, we're just, <laughs> we're guessing at this point. So I'm going to add in here, GE Fusion 1. Okay. Let's see if it works this time. We'll save that. I'm going to import, import previews models groups. I need to go back to my world of the sequencer. And we need to select those model groups again for the fusion. Fantastic. Here is my freaky. Here's my lantern. Oop, I need to grab that one too. Let's go with uh, pretty flake. And we'll put spaz in there. And I believe we have Wishful. All right, there we go. Wishful, Spaz, Pretty Flake, Lantern, and Freaky Groups. There we go. Let's see what happens. Anything gonna move into the right place on the left? Let's click OK and find out. <sighs> no, 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 because the import process here is looking at the name of the model. It's looking at the name of the model before it will bring over these groups. So fine, let's change the name of the model to Fusion 1. I'm going to click OK and it's going to say, do you want to keep the old alias? I would say yes, because if you've already done mapping, or your own sequencing using that name, you better click yes so that when, <laughs> when you're working with sequences, everything's cool. Or when you're mapping in, everything's cool. Uh, it's just so important. I, I hope they can remedy this. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Right click, import previews models groups. Go to the world of the sequencer where you want to take the submodel groups from. And we'll come down here one last time. And we're going to bring in our freaky lantern, pretty flake, spaz, and wishful. I think that's it. Looks good. Looks good. Now, when I click OK, Stare at the box on the other side here. Wow, look at that. There they are. So here is my Fusion, Lantern, Pretty Flake, 
spaz and wishful they're all there save <laughs> save 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 now when you are ready to map sequence and all that fun stuff you still have to ensure that you have a view I would create a new view and you're going to need to put these in order these are not going to be in order here they're just not going to be in the put them all down here well, which which I get so these are all going to have to be put in a very specific order much higher up on the list and there are different ways of doing that this will go up at the very very top so you're going to want to get your house in order here um, I'm hoping one day we'll see the ability when we import a model that already has embedded sub model groups that it will follow those rules and keep that hierarchy here that would prevent people from having to use naming conventions that are alphabetical or alphanumerical in order to make this work yeah so that's the hope that's the hope we don't know that's not up to us let me know your thoughts on this i do do definitely appreciate that this developer is adding in the ability to import submodels from a layout file that's a good step now let's take something that's good let's make it great let's make it great for everybody whether you map using submodels only or submodels that are in groups it works both ways is one better than the other that's up to you to decide I know how I've been sequencing all these years and I don't think that is going to stop all right that's all I've got for you I'm Ron this has been Monday minutes we will catch you next week again have a very happy and safe Labor Day catch you later Music